Hey and welcome, I'm Hammy and rejoice you Neko fans, Cat Diva or Black Cat Diva to be precise has been confirmed as the latest skin coming to Overwatch. Now Overwatch's cosmetic update is coming tomorrow along with Blizzard World, there's a bunch of stuff for the new loot boxes and you may not have caught all of the teasers and reveals that have been shared over the last 3 or 4 days. So I'm going to round them up all in one place starting with Cat Diva here very quickly for you. And for you Lore and Voice Lines fans I have both Skin Lore, Lore and Voice Lines vids planned for the rest of this week so stay tuned. Literally fresh off the press just before I'm releasing this video there have been four new highlight intros introduced we see Anna kicking some ass I just wish I could get a play of the game with Anna so we could actually see this cool highlight intro Bastion going from tank mode into opposing style stunts soldier 76 with a bit of a mean rifle butt like he did in the animated short hero and then last but not least Winston getting a little bit angry and rolling over with his Tesla cannon okay let's get hot off the press to black cat diva well I love the look of this skin I think that diva has probably got one of the strongest sets of overall cool skins in overwatch she's got a load of legendaries and epics but some really cool nice ones as well. Black Cat Diva, I love the detail on this in that it's actually got the cat ears, if you have a look at this video in slow motion on the top of the mech, as well as Diva in her kind of black style dress. I'm sure Otaku and kind of Neko style kind of fans of all that kind of stuff are really really going to love this. Now alongside Cat Diva over the last few days we have seen Kabuki Hanso, Kabuki being a classical Japanese sort of drama dance type play known for the drama of the script and also the very elaborate makeup and costumes worn by some of its performers. So Hanso fans rejoicing with another legend. Legendary. Capoeira Lucio. Capoeira is an Afro-Brazilian martial art. It's kind of acrobatic and dance and music, so it kind of works very, very well with Lucio's character. A pretty cool skin there. Power, kicks, speed, and spins, and lots of different things. Asp Farah, well, the Asp continuing far as Egyptian and Egyptology themed skins, the Cobra was kind of a very significant symbol in ancient Egypt, particularly a royal symbol. For the pharaohs. A rearing cobra or snake with a flared hood ready to strike was kind of a uraeus, this image which was used and drawn in several places including tombs referring to protection. Again which fits pretty well with Farah's character as well as with the Egyptian theme. Now don't forget we also have the Blizzard crossover crew, all of the other crossover skins. I've already done a lore video summarising in brief all of the lore of all of those different skins such as the Diablo, Warcraft and Starcraft themed skins that will be coming with Blizzard World tomorrow. Do have a look at that video in the description below if you haven't seen it already and I'm doing individual videos going into the lore of each of those characters and their backgrounds more as well. So if you really want to dig into the lore of the skins of any of your favourite characters or any of these new skins then do take a look at my skin lore playlist too. New epic skins have also been revealed, we've got McCree kind of looking well with his dead eye symbol, maybe it's a deadlock skin, I don't know, we'll see how that works out. Devil Reaper looking very very fearsome, this is a really awesome epic I think with all of the detail in it. Junkrat looking pretty toasty there, Sim with a multicolour skin and this kind of carbon zen which I think is really really sweet as well with the different colour patterns. Palettes there too. As for emotes, well, we have a Genji doing a little flip. We have Tracer spinning her pulse bomb in a fidget spinner type way. Sombra's puppet emote, which I think is really, really sweet. Mercy having a little twiddle of her staff. And finally, last but not least, the awesome Moira face palm emote, which I'm going to be equipping along with Stupidity is Not a Right as my basic Moira competitive toolkit from now on. With a whole bunch of cool new chibi style sprays and player icons, as well as well as Blizzard World that's going to be releasing. And remember, of course, that's not going to be available in competitive for a little while. I think before it goes live we have a really really awesome update coming i really can't wait what are your favorites what skins are you looking forward to remember of course that if you want to save your coins all of these are going to the basic loot boxes you will get this in basic loot boxes as you level up we can buy them for the usual amount of credits at any time of year so you might want to save your coins for the year of the dog event that's going to be coming up probably I think at the beginning of February. Do let me know what you're looking forward to most in the comments below. Do stay tuned to the channel for lore and voice lines in the next few days and weeks of course. Thank you for your patience while you wait for those longer videos that I'm working on and I really appreciate your support. Throw a like or subscribe if you haven't if you'd like to keep up to date with Overwatch lore story and little bits of news here and there too as well as lore from other Blizzard games and perhaps some other games coming soon as well. Keep an eye out for that at weekends. They are going to be my experimental days. During the week's going to be Overwatch. Check out more lore and voice lines and everything to do with Overwatch in the playlist below. Cheers for tuning in. I've been Hammy. Take it easy.